What's going on, everybody? Spaceballs here. Welcome back to another Clip Request the Guardians video. Today, we are back on Godfather Brad's account. We just did a summons on my account. I'm not sure which video I'm going to put up first. I'll probably put up Brad's video first. So I'm not going to say anything about my summons in this video. But he's got pretty much a massive summoning session for us today. As Godfather Brad always does. And thank you, Godfather Brad. You always let us do your summons. And I appreciate it. And I love you very much. Thank you for that. So here we go. 170 mystics, two lawfuls, six light and darks, two legendaries, one sacred. Hopefully the sacred will be 400% Marquise. Hopefully. It seems we're always chasing this 400%, 4%, 400%, whatever you want to call it. I made plenty of space. So here we go. Pretty sure he said do everything. I think he's still missing a lot. Actually, let's look at his archives. Because I think he's still missing... I think we just recently did summons on his account. Yeah, he's missing Teo, Marquise, Celine, Dragoon, Shaman. Shaman would be really nice. I'm sure he would love a Shaman. Genie. Genie's not that great, so I'd rather see a Shaman. Four stars. Joan, same as me. And he's got all of the LD four stars. And I say four stars because that's realistic. The chances... Of pulling and that five is pretty much a miracle. I'm sure you guys know that by now. But let's get right into this. 170. Good luck, Godfather Brad. Bring you that bulldog luck. As you know, this is the lucky bulldog shirt. Starting with a gold. That's good. Una. The Lair Queen. She's actually good everywhere. She's good in Lair. She's good as a speed. Um, She's good for a turn meter boost. Attack down. Ill block. She's just got so much in her kit. Definitely love my Una. I was actually thinking about building a second one for Guild Wars because I just I don't have many more projects left. So I feel like now I'm gonna go back and like rebuild stuff that I already built. Flame Spirit, good, because you need probably need skill ups for your flame spirit. Let's get this man, Godfather Brad, a Teo or a Marquise. Teo, Marquise, Fallen Angel. Where's that four hundred percent, Calibria? Where is that four hundred percent? I'll take the angel. But we definitely wanted to see Marquise. Marquise is going to be a really good RTA unit from what it seems like. I haven't tested him. But from what I can read in his skills, he seems like he's going to be a really, really solid RTA unit. As you guys know, RTA is coming to the game very, very soon. And you can always use the Angel for Convert or Sanctify, depending on what he's doing or what he has. But Angel's actually really good. He's really good. He's got a Guild War speed lead, 35%. It's pretty much the highest in the game up to Mikhail. And most people will never pull Mikhail. So Fallen, Fallen Angel is his name, I think. Yeah, Fallen Angel. So he's the next best thing to the you know fastest speed lead in Guild Wars. It is only in Guild Wars. Two goals, that's good. We'll take that. Demonic Swordsman and Olger. We will definitely take that. I want to see a tail. I want to see a tail, or I want to see a Marquise. Come on, tail or Marquise. Brad is so good to us. We actually just spent money on Brad's account recently. Yeah, we did. We spent fifty. We bought him a fifty dollar pack. I think we bought him the one with all the gems, and that's probably where a lot of these summons came from. And I'm sure he grinds the growth plan, and that's where he got the sacred from. And the LDs he probably just gets from like his vapor and stuff like that. This was about three weeks ago. I can't remember how the summons went last time. I think they went good. I think we did good for him last time. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure we definitely pulled him a few nat fives. We pretty much always do good with mystics. It's just the other summons that we tend. Maybe I should start doing like the, the big summons first. Like the, you know, the sacreds, the legendaries, and then doing the mystics after maybe. I feel like we always do so good with the Mystics. We we have the best Mystic luck. Especially when it comes to like Bone Kings and stuff like that. Holy Swordsman can never, can never have enough of him. He is the best. And I want to see another Nat 5. And I want to see Marquise. Or I want to see Teo. Teo. Vampire is good though. Can't complain about a Vampire. Probably need to skill up your Vampire. Especially with all these Azuras. And Dale Lords in the arena, it's always good to have your vampire built with good runes, fast, 
ready to silence those passives. He's actually good in like, you know, dungeon runs and stuff like that as well. Another Holy Swordsman. Another Holy Swordsman, which is good because I'm sure Godfather Brad needs skill ups for his Holy Swordsman. I will always take Holy Swordsmen. I will never, ever complain about pulling a Holy Swordsman. Here we go, one more, then we gotta make some space. Come on, Teo Marquise. Teo Marquise. No, we don't want Pharaoh. We want Teo or Marquise. <laughs> He's actually good for Guild Wars too. So many monsters are good for Guild Wars, I have to be honest. Okay, let's make some space and I will be right back. And poof, there's your space. Okay, 60 more. Come on, Calibria. Teo or Marquise. Please for Godfather Brad. Let Godfather Brad be happy and build his Teo. Garuda. Hey, an F5 is an F5. We can't complain. You can never complain about an F5. I mean, yes, we would love to see that 4%, 400%, whatever CCG wants to call it. But you can never complain about getting that fives. And I actually sanctified my Garuda recently. And he's actually, I mean, he's very niche in where you use him. But he's actually, he's, he's not terrible. He's not terrible. His kit's a little funky. But when you sanctify him, his attack actually gets really, really high. So he, he's not the worst unit in the world, believe it or not. And I mean, if you have one, Brad, you can always sanctify it. It's up to you at the end of the day, as I always tell you guys. But you did get two golds and an at five in that pull. So that's like a really good pull. Again, if his kit was just a little bit based off of damage and not so much like these HP burns and stuff. I feel like he'd be a little bit more effective. I was actually looking at this passive too for Guild Wars, but he has his uses. He definitely has his uses. He's just, like I said, he's very niche. The bird is very niche. He, I think he's really good in like dungeon runs and stuff like that. But hey, we can't complain. Two nat fives, 170 summons. You would expect one or two, maybe. So the fact that we pulled two already, very good. Like I said, we always kill the mystic rates. You can never say we don't beat up the mystic summons because we definitely do when it comes to pulling nat fives from mystics. That's why I always say like you're better off like the new deal they have in Vapor where you can buy a legendary summon for 640 gems. You're definitely better off spending the extra whatever it is and buying the premium pack. I call it a premium pack from Summoning War, but the summoning pack for 750 gems because you have more, I think you have like more of a chance, maybe not like mathematically, but it feels like you have more of a chance of pulling a nat 5 from Mystics than you actually do a Legendary. And I know the numbers probably say that's wrong, but it just feels that way. This is like our fourth Druid. Wow. Druid and a Centaur. So we got a double gold. Double gold. Can't complain about that. But we've pulled so many Druids. I hope you need skill ups for your Druid, Brad. Because then that will be really good. Because then you can max out your Druid, which you probably don't need. But hey, it's wishful thinking at this point. Door and the Gunner. I think they turned off the Bulldog Lock now. They didn't because, like I said, we still got two nat 5s We just didn't get the nat 5s that we wanted. So I know sometimes like you get ups we get upset, but the truth of it is, they're still nat 5s They're just not the nat 5s that we wanted. It's not the 4% Marquise. It's not the Teo. It's another Druid, of course. It's like we opened up a time gate for this Druid. <laughs> I can't believe how many Druids we just pulled him. That must have been like 5 or 6 at least we'll check after but that must have been at least five or six we actually have enough space to go straight through here let's do the lawfuls because we didn't get teo or marquise yet they're going to give it to him though don't worry in the sacred brad they are going to give you marquise watch i guarantee you your sacred is going to be marquise because they already gave you two so the third one's going to be the charm and that's going to be your marquise i hope i hope and pray I know that'll just make you happy just to have it makes anybody happy just to have a new unit. My issue is it takes me like weeks to months to pull the new units. Like I pull them months after they come out. I mean I guess it's better than never pulling them at all. Alright, so let's do the two legendary, then we'll do the light darks, and then we'll end it with the sacred. And hopefully there is a Teo or Marquis somewhere in these summons. Please. Another druid. Calibria. What's going on with these time gates, Calibria? 
You can't tell me like that. The rates would be to pull a Drew out this many times. Like, I just, I can't see it. I just don't see it. I love my Drew out. I love him. Don't get me wrong, but we had enough. We had enough of you. We don't want to see you anymore. Please, no more Drew ads tonight. No more Drew ads. <laughs> Give us Teo. No. Shield Guardian's good, though. I've been building a bunch of them because, like I said, so good. I throw four of them in, like, an arena offense auto team and as long as you have good enough runes on them they should be able to pretty much auto anything for the most part so once again we're stumped by the legendaries all right let's look i want to see how many druids we pulled him look at this one two three four five six six druids two holy swordsmans a garuda and an angel I almost thought the Gr Gruder was new because the exclamation point, but I forget that Godfather Brad does not collect his skill cats. Why couldn't that Garuda be Shaman? That would have been so perfect if that Garuda was Shaman. Of course not, though. Hopefully we can pull him. Shaman, Teo, or Marquise. That is the dream for Godfather Brad. You have so much Kalyanite, Godfather Brad. You must be you must be farming Lair like a madman. Let's see. Yeah, well... Must have, you must have just like sold all your runes, or maybe you just you sell them as you go, but you have a lot of Kalyanite. Start upgrading those runes. Like all these slot 2, 4, and 6 on your Azura. Max these all out because World Boss, you'll do so much more damage. So definitely max these out because you have so much Kalyanite to do so. It's kind of not worth sitting on this much Kalyanite like where you are in the game because you're better off, you know, putting it into your runes to give yourself more damage, which will give you more rewards, you know, in world boss and all that stuff so definitely better off you know using some of that cali knight and you'll have enough con to convert so maybe you can con convert yourself a 400 percent marquise if we don't get you one out of the sacred i really hope we get you something new out of the sacred shaman oh well, we got your gold hattori i don't know if you have hattori i mean we got your gold from the from the light dark you cannot complain about that but i don't know if you have i think you have hattori Pretty sure you have him. I think we went over this. Yeah, you have Hattori. I had to check to make sure. Again, you can use that for converting. You can actually feed that to your Yuki for the leader skill, or you can just unlock an Athena and do it that way. It's up to you. Or you can sanctify the Hattori you have already. That's totally up to you at the end of the day. Can we get him one more gold? I almost feel like I don't even want to do these light darts because like the chances of getting him another gold. Are pretty much slim to none but you never know you never never know come on ccg hook this hook up godfather brad he deserves it i just hope this sacred it's going to be that four percent marquise i'll even push Teo to the side even though Teo is better i think i don't have either one of them so i don't know for sure well maybe i have them now but i don't have them as of you guys are watching this video so I don't know who's better. Like, I, I haven't been able to compare them. I just know that Teo is, like, super good in, like, every part of the game. Arena defense, offense, Guild Wars, any sort of lair runs, Vapor. His kit is just usable anywhere and everywhere. So that's one thing I do know about Teo. Marquis seems like he's going to be more of a Guild War slash RTA unit. He looks like he's going to be really solid for RTA. It's like the worst unit in the game to pull. Voodoo Walker is like the worst unit in the game to pull. He's just terrible. Unless you want to craft Necromancer, like you just don't want to see a Voodoo Walker on your screen. It's like the last thing you want to see on your screen. Okay. Let's do some praying here to the Calibria Gods, the Bulldog Gods, Baby Chance. We need to get Godfather Brad Marquise. I'll settle for Marquise at this point. He looks like he's got a good kit. He does. He looks like he's got a really solid kit. Like I said, it looks like more of a PvP kit, but it, it's, it looks solid. It looks like a solid kit. Good defense lead. What is he based? Is he? Oh, he's an assist based. I feel like his kit would be like attack based, but I guess not. Please. Calibria, please. But we are going to end it after this one. Godfather Brad. Wait, we have a legendary summon here. I almost, you guys thought I was going to skip that legendary summon, didn't you? You thought I was going to epic fail and skip this legendary summon. Not this time, guys. Not this time. I caught it. We're doing it. 
Teo, please. No, we don't want the ogre. We want the Teo. Okay, now we want Marquise. I don't think we're going to get Teo, so we're going to settle for Marquise. Calibria, please. But after this, we're going to end the guy, so we're going to be doing a test stream probably sometime next week on Twitch, and we're going to do some sort of giveaway on that test stream. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitch, that is in the description. It means the world to me. Thank you so much for all of the support. We're 20... We're 20 some subs away from 900 subs, and then we can start our 100 sub giveaway, which is our normal giveaway. If you want to be a part of the random giveaway, make sure you're subbed to the channel, you're commenting and liking on all the videos. I got a huge surprise for you guys coming in the next random giveaway. It's going to be a huge personal prize. So you definitely want to make sure you're, you know, you're a part of that. But other than that, let's do the sacred and let's end it up. Please, I can't even watch. Please, please give Godfather Brad a shaman, a Teo. Or Marquise, please. I can't even look. I can't even look. I feel like it's going to burn my eyes. I can't pull her on my account. I cannot pull Noctuar on my own account. But I pull it on everybody else's account. What is going on, Clever? You trolled me once again. It's okay. The rates were still there. You haven't convert. You can always convert. I'm sure what always seems to happen is I do summons for you guys. Then you end up getting on your account. You convert. And then you get the monster you want. I don't see that 4% once again. I feel like... Anytime I chase 4%, I never seem to get it. But that's okay. As always, guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys for the support. I'll see you in the next one. Spaceballs out. Peace.